hit the subscribe button or don't. I really don't care one way or the other. Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, we're going to go all the way back to where it first started. Street Fighter 2. Now some will say it actually started with the first Street Fighter, but uh, no. Now, as you know, I am a Super Turbo fan. Um, I'm more of a Grandmaster Challenge, Super Street Fighter 2X Grandmaster Challenge fan. In other words, the Japanese version, but uh, yeah. Let's go back to the first Street Fighter 2. I remember I uh, played it only a couple times in the arcade, and when it came to the Super Nintendo, man, I was hooked. Didn't know what I was doing, but I was hooked. Out of all my friends, I was the first one to get it for many, many months because I got it on the Super Famicom. So slow. Now, I told this story before I got uh, the, my version from a mom and pop store called uh, P&L Video Games. At the time, it cost me like $135. I bought it, came home, it wouldn't fit in my Super Nintendo, but the place was so cool, they're like, you know what? You have two choices. You can buy an adapter, which we sell, or just bring your system in. And we'll, mo we'll modify it so it'll fit, no problem. And then I brought my system back. They uh, broke out the little tabs on there. It was such a cool video game place. Does anybody else remember the um, EGM April Fool's joke? In order to get to Shenlong? Thank you. 
you don't remember the joke, it was something like, uh, what was it? You had to... It's like you had to not lose any rounds, and you had to win... You had to not get hit. Not lose a round, and when you got to M. Bison, it was like you had to uh, go three, three games with him without losing, or no, without getting hit. So it was three draw games without you getting hit and without uh, you inflicting damage, something like that, and then Sheng Long would appear. I think I was in Vegas at the time, and I, I'm not sure which version of Street Fighter it was. Now, at the time, all I played was Ken and Ryu. And I remember, I went up, somebody came in to challenge me. And they pick Blanca. I'm like, why on earth would you ever pick Blanca, let alone anybody other than Ken and Ryu? Because for the most part, that's also the only characters my friends played. And then it was like, oh my god, there's so much more to this game.
game is so slow. <laughs> it's... Uh. But it's still a classic. Well, I think we're gonna call it right there. It plays just how I remember. It's a good trip down memory lane. If you have any questions, let me know. Till next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>